pressure between oxygen and carbon dioxide such that a switch takes place. The air that we breathe in delivers some of its oxygen to the hemoglobin molecules and the carbon dioxide diffuses off that into the air and we breathe out air that is lower in oxygen and higher in carbon dioxide than what we breathed in. Mm -hmm. So if I go, that was high oxygen, low carbon dioxide, that was low oxygen, high carbon dioxide. And that's the, that's happening every second of every day. That oxygen, that hemoglobin molecule that's carrying oxygen is carrying it to every cell in my body because every cell in my body needs oxygen. And that cell in the body is taking the oxygen to run that chemical reaction to make ATP and it's shuttling back carbon dioxide. And it's just the most incredible thing in the world to imagine how frequently this is happening. And the more you exercise, the more you consume oxygen. So oxygen consumption is a proxy for energy demand. So we can measure this. Now to do so, you have to put a mask on because I have to be able to measure very precisely two things. I have to be able to measure exactly the flow rate of air going in and out of your mouth. And I have to be able to